I like to call this our uh, cubism cat picture. So it's crazy cat picture. And we're going to work on an 8.5 by 11 piece of paper or half of that size is fine too. You're going to start out by making a wavy shape for the head. So cubism style. In the cubism style, things don't look like real life. So that's why we make a wavy looking head. And then somewhere I want to add the ears. So sometimes they move parts of the bases around, eyes, nose, ears, different sizes, different places, different shapes sometimes, different views too, side views and front views sometimes. So I'm going to add an eyeball over here. Maybe another one down here. And you can put yours where you want. It doesn't have to follow all my steps. But I'm showing you how it could be done. And if I'm going too fast for you, you can always pause it. Some eyelashes. And then for the nose, I like to do the letter V shape. And then connect it across the top, like an upside down triangle. And I like to do half of the mouth smaller, and then the other half bigger. And then maybe the neck will come down here. With a little collar on it. And some whiskers. You could do straight whiskers or curved whiskers. And curly. Okay, and then you're going to add some lines so that you break up the face into spaces. So what I mean by that is just adding some straight lines. These will give us spaces for coloring in. But what you don't want to do is to make the lines go right through the eyes. See how I'm kind of skipping over the eyes and skipping over the nose. I mean it's okay if you do go through them but it just gets kind of confusing. It usually looks better if you skip over the eyes and nose. It'll be easier to find them later when you're done coloring. So just a few lines here and there. You might find a spot where you think you might need to add an extra line. So you just add it in. Alright, and then next step would be to color this in.